So what is significant about this video is, number one, it was live to school children. Number two, we have this stuffed animal that is transitioning in on another video channel. And the actor is able to reach up and grab this doll in real 3D space and manipulate this doll with their hands. And so the only way you're going to pull that off is with one technology. And that technology is virtual reality. Next segment, I'm going to show you how NASA grabs objects in 3D space, rotates them around, manipulates them. They can do this with water, with cloth, anything. And the cool thing about it is we can take what they're doing, what they're seeing with their contact virtual reality augmented lenses and put that on a separate video layer live. So in this clip, they're talking live feed. And what you know, we have a astronaut go by us in the background, uh, obviously trying to give it a more realistic spacey station busy effect the only problem is the camera that was supposed to mask this harness out or the uh, video feed is not working and so we see the guy come flying along in a harness on his wires pretty amazing but that's not all that goes wrong here Okay, so you see to the right, this guy's flipping this hat. This hat's actually on another video um, channel in 3D space. It's virtual reality. He's, they're wearing augmented uh, contact lenses so that they can interact with these 3D objects. Now, in this scene, the guy on the left in the green shirt, he thinks he sees an object in 3D space that's being broadcast to him. So he grabs it and he puts it off to the side. He's looking straight ahead because he's looking at an object rotating in front of him, but the video channel is down that is supposed to show the viewers what we're supposed to see, and so we don't actually get to see the object that he has seen. And I would just sum this up as a very terrible, bad, horrible day for NASA doing live feeds. Hey, yo, girl, show them that song I taught you. I got Jesus, what you got? I got Jesus, what you got? I got Jesus, what you got? Although you saved or you not, hear me? Space, space, space. Space may be in the bottom from here, but it's made in the heart. Ever dreamed of going up to outer space or maybe meeting other beings from another place have you ever wondered what it's like on other planets then you watch a science show and come to believe you understand it you feel empowered by the knowledge and you feel enlightened listening to bill nye and neil degrasse tyson but then you wake up and you start to see the obvious life is just a lie and this whole world ain't what we thought it was nasa's missions to the moon were never completed they just filmed them in a room and people believe it i used to wonder what it's like to be an astronaut now when i see them acting i can't help but to laugh a lot they give us cartoons and they claim that we live on a ball But it's flat and it's not moving or spinning at all Why you lying to us, man? That's something that we wanna know After that, you're gonna have to pack up all your stuff and go History has been rewritten by winners of wars The Jesuit Order, Khazars, Freemasons and more They pulled the veil over our eyes and it's time to awaken Through organized indoctrination our minds have been taken It's time we take our power back and we rescue our people The Vatican and the bankers are like Resident Evil They may have had the greatest plan that was ever concocted But Illuminati never thought that they'd ever be spotted They're manufacturing reality all in our heads They tell us if the earth is flat then we'll fall off the edge But if it is a spinning ball we won't fall off it then And gravity is our imaginary magic friend why is water always flat when unmanipulated why are pictures of the earth computer generated why you lying to us man that's something that we want to know after that you're gonna have to pack up all your stuff and go hello my name is bailey uh, 
Uh, this question is for Chris. What was high school like for you? Well, it was the uh, 1980s, so the music was different, the hairstyle was different, the clothes we wore were different uh, than today, but probably in five or ten years it'll be the same. And uh, in, in school, I was just like you, probably all of you there. I, I tried my best. I didn't always succeed, didn't always do well, but I, I, I put my best effort into school. Math and science were kind of my favorite subject. I didn't really like uh, English in, in reading too much, but I've since grown out of that, and I enjoy reading now. And I played a lot of sports. And all of that happened in a little town called York, Maine, across the United States from where we're talking to you right now.